Uh, my name is Justin Dingwall. I'm a contemporary artist as well as commercial photographer. Originally when I started doing photography, I wanted to photograph the babes on the beach in the bikinis and I thought that was the most amazing thing to do. And as I got into studying, I realized that it is such a superficial way to, to, to live your life, is just wanting to, to, to capture that kind of image and that. So I became very, very interested in photographing normal people, but with interesting stories. So at the age of 18, I would pack my camera bag and I would go off to Davyton, to one of the old age homes, and spend days upon days there photographing the old residents, St. Gormers, and just people that had stories that, that I was fascinated by. So that slowly but surely started to build my career. Then from there, um, I got into the commercial realm where I started to assist. And, and that's where the glitz and the glamour was, the advertising shoots, the international photographers. And it really built up my understanding of the technical aspect of it and that. But there was always something in the back of me where I wanted to create something that was mine. For me, Elvis has been the first project where I've invested myself completely into the body of work. It took three years to, to, to create and photograph and put together. And I wasn't looking for the story. I wasn't going, I want to photograph someone with albinism and someone with snakes and, and that. Someone once said to me that it completely altered the way that they view people with albinism. And that was kind of the moment that I knew I was on the right course in that. And that really affected me very, very deeply in that. I was always picked on as a child to build up myself in that. I had to start investing within myself in that, in my own self-belief. Um, what also really inspires me to, to do better is continuously going to creative mornings or, or listening to, to other people who are doing exactly what I'm doing or in other creative fields and that and hearing about their struggles and how they persisted. So for me, persistence is the most important thing to carry on and, and continuously grow and learn from other people and that. And that's why I think it's so important to form these communities of creative people and that, so that we can get together and create and share and grow as a, a community and then obviously grow overall as a country.